So here in Moodle, we're going to have a look at how we can generate questions using an OpenAI question generator. So the first thing we're going to do is jump into our course and jump into our question bank. And then from the menu at the top left, we're going to jump into categories. And we just want to set up a new category that we can store these new questions in. So we'll call these Final Cut Pro questions. We'll add the category. And then we'll come back to our course homepage. And what we need to do at this point is turn edit mode on so that we can add the question generator. So I'm going to click add block and we'll scroll down and we're looking for the open AI question generator. So we'll click this. And then once we're in here, we're going to click generate questions and we need to find a source text. Now you can use a number of different source texts. You can use a transcript you've downloaded from a video. So the subtitles or the closed captions that have been generated. In this instance, we're going to use the text from the Wikipedia page for Final Cut Pro. So we'll come to that and we'll just do a highlight of the central information here. So we'll grab all of this and we'll copy that. We'll come back to our source of truth. So we'll change the question type to multiple choice. We're going to add 10 questions. The maximum number is 10. We'll hit save changes. And so now those questions will be generated. We can scroll through them. We can delete ones that we don't like, and then we can keep scrolling down. And then once we're happy with the, the questions that we've created, we can add them to a question bank. And this is where the category that we set up is important. And so now you can see when we come back to our questions, the questions in the top category for this course, you'll see that we have the list of those multiple choice questions. So to keep things organized, I'm just going to select all these questions. And with the selected, I'm going to move them to a category. So we'll move them into those Final Cut Pro questions. And that will just help to keep things nice and organized. So you can see I'm managing my question categories there. So again, we mentioned within our question generator, we can use other sources of truth. So in this instance, I'm going to use the closed captions that I've downloaded from a YouTube video on Final Cut Pro. We'll paste that in. We'll set it to multiple choice. We'll set it to 10 questions, save those changes. And then from this downloaded closed captions transcript, we're going to get 10 questions again on the topic of Final Cut Pro. So again, once that's generated, it's going to generate some cool questions. Some of these are not correct. So I'm going to use the trash can to delete some of those. So we can just check these all look pretty good. Okay, yeah, a couple of incorrect questions there. So definitely worth reviewing your questions, making sure everything is correct. We can add them to our question bank. And then we can see we've got our questions here. You can see we've got seven questions in this top level. I'm going to uncheck also show questions from subcategories. So I'm just selecting those seven questions that I've added. And then that means I can now select those seven questions. And with those, we'll again move them into the Final Cut Pro questions category. So we're getting a variety of questions, different topics from the Wikipedia page, from some tutorial content, and creating some nice multiple choice questions that we can use in a learning quiz or exam. I think the key point here is to make sure that you do review those questions. The AI won't always get things exactly right. So it's useful as a kind of quick starting point um, to create questions. You may need to review and refine things following on from that. Then in order to add these to a quiz, we come to our course, we can add an activity of resource, and then we're adding a quiz just like we would any other. We'll call this Final Cut Pro Quiz. We'll save and display this. And then we'll go to add questions. We're going to add questions from question bank and from the Final Cut Pro question bank. We'll select all of these, add them, and we'll shuffle those two. And so now those questions are, are ready to be used. So if we save this and come back to our course homepage, we'll come out of edit mode, come back to our quiz, and we can preview the quiz. And you can see we get a nice list of questions that we can now work through and use as part of our course. So I hope this is useful. If you do have any questions, then please leave a comment below.